Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're starting downtown Boston. We're actually in the Boston Common, which is America's very oldest park. It's been a park since 1634. All right, got in a proper stretch first. Today we're gonna to be hitting the Freedom Trail here in Boston, checking out some of the historic sites. This has been on my bucket list for a long time. Tom tells me he did it back in middle school. I guess they make all the kids do it, but I'm pretty excited about it. We're gonna see some cool shit. So stop number one is the Massachusetts New State House the capital of the state and it was finished in 1798 so hardly new a couple stops from now we're gonna see the old state house where a lot of cool stuff happened Clearly, this one is under some renovations taking a look at the famous Park Street Church founded 1804 right here across from the park Got a neat little scripture over here, just to uh, keep from waking up the gentleman. The year of our Lord, 1,634. Pretty old. So we're now behind the Park Street Church, checking out the Granary Burial Ground, named for a granary which used to stand nearby, no longer does. Got some pretty cool graves here. Here's old John Hancock, Herbie Hancock, he was known in some circles. And here bearing the crest of the Boston Tea Party participant, Paul Revere. A big name, just, just a stone's throw away from John Hancock. These folks have dropped some coinage here, pay their respects. It's a cool, oddly peaceful scene here. In the middle of downtown Boston. I guess there's over 2,000 gravestones just right here in this lot. Said to be over 5,000 bodies buried. Checking out my family lineage here. I had no idea. Might be able to trace some roots right now. <laughs> Guy died when he was four. Colonel John Armstrong. What the hell? <laughs> one of my brother's names. George Washington Armstrong. The world? I knew. I knew I was a revolutionary hero <laughs> in another life. Nice. Yes. Samwise Adams. <laughs> Sign the declaration. Organized the Tea Party, said, fuck the Stamp Act. <laughs> Taking a look at the King's Chapel. This one was built in 1754, right here in the middle of downtown. So here's a pretty special site. This is the Old State House, which was the center of all political activity in Massachusetts up until the new State House was built, which we saw, 1798. Right in front of this building, Right in this street over here is actually the site of the Boston Massacre. It happened right here in this street in 1770. This is where British troops fired into a crowd of colonials. And it is definitely one of the things that sparked the Revolutionary War. Now there are two sides to every coin. You could certainly point out that those British troops were having ice and rocks thrown at them during this altercation. But as we know, history is written by the winner. Here at the site of what is now a Chipotle is the Old Corner Bookstore. It's actually one of the oldest bookstores in Boston. This building's been here since 1828. And now you can get a burrito there. Yeehaw! <laughs> Taking a little break from the crowds back here. Behind the King's Chapel. We saw earlier. another graveyard over there. This side got a statue of Benjamin Franklin. 
looking down on us. Who was born two days before me? Who was born two days before Thomas? He's actually standing in front of the Boston Latin School. It's actually the oldest school in the country. And today it's Harvard by about two years. Right in this building is where in 1773 a group of as many as 5,000 colonials got together and decided to march into Boston Harbor and turn that thing into a giant teapot. You may know this as the Boston Tea Party. And that began right here in the Old South Meeting House. Checking out Faneuil Hall. This was a building named after Peter Faneuil, who was a merchant whose wealthy uncle left him a massive fortune on the stipulation that he never get married. And he actually held by that and never married. In front of the building is a statue of Samuel Adams, who actually gave some political rallies here, opposing the Tea Act and Stamp Act. Chilling over here on the Boston. There you go, America's oldest tavern, the Mellon Hand. That was 1795. Oh, nice. Yeah, this has been here for a minute. Still open. Old faithful, old Ironside. Get to cross some cool kind of bridge, I presume? Yep. Yeah, I'll cross over a drawbridge. And we get to see the oldest ship in the Navy. Yep, that we will. That is. And they still take it out and they fire off the cannon before it on. Checking out the original home that Paul Revere. Oh, 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 you're backing up. Why don't you go ahead, lady? In one of the more crowded parts of Boston. So this house was built in 1680, just like it stands today. I looked at the pictures and it really looks pretty much the same other than the adjacent buildings. Looking up at St. Stephen's Catholic Church, their old one here in Boston. This one's from 1804. Right across the way here, we got the iconic statue, Mr. Paul Revere, up there on his steed. Get right in my shop. So now we're crossing over the Charles River to, you guessed it, Charles Town. Got a little plaque commemorating Paul Revere, the spot that he landed on the very night of his famous midnight ride. He landed right here at Boston Harbor, where now sits the USS Constitution. Pretty cool sight out here, old Ironsides. The ship originally launched in 1797, but it earned its name in the War of 1812 when it was taking on the British Navy, particularly the HMS Guerriere, whose cannon fire could not penetrate the oak hull of the Constitution, thus earning it its infamous nickname. Ah, to the end of the Freedom Trail. We made it. We made it. We Historic. Bunker Hill. Felt like longer. Took our time. Definitely saw some shit. So at the Battle of Bunker Hill, British forces of about 2,200 strong squared off against the defending colonials, about 1,000 strong. British troops suffered much more substantial losses than the Americans. However, they did ultimately take the hill and win the battle. But certainly not to say that standing up here against the biggest, most professional army in the world at the time didn't inspire the Continental Army to some degree. I'm feeling inspired now, in fact. Which 
way. <laughs> yeah, I think the Celtics are going to tip off here in like an hour. Man, just all day long, the most perfect, beautiful weather yep. one could ever hope for. The damn East Coast. Taking a look at the gardens over here adjacent to the Boston Common. Nice little sunset shot too. Thomas, that's not how that. Welcome to Tia's. Now I'm I'm counting on them knowing my name. Hey, let's go check it out. Not a good sign. That's gonna about do it for today. If you enjoyed hanging out with me in this beautiful day in Boston. Definitely more to come from this town. I feel like I've only scratched the surface. A lot more to dig up. <laughs>